to all you young people, let's talk about picking a career. Know yourself. In order to be happy in a career, you need to choose a career path that you're best suited for. Don't nobody know you like you know you. So that means that if you aren't about service, your ass shouldn't be a hostess. When you go into a restaurant and see people that are angry, they got one of those you know, upside down smiles, you already know they're not happy in their position. And a lot of it has to do with your personality. Know what your personality is about, what kind of traits you got, because maybe, just maybe, God made you for something else and you can shine in that particular field. For example, if you don't like blood and guts, you probably don't wanna be a doctor or an emergency nurse, right? You get me? That's gonna cost you a lot of stress. If you don't like working hard, then don't get in the construction field where you're going to be putting in long hours and a lot of laborious work. If you don't like taking orders, maybe you shouldn't go into the military. It's that kind of thinking that you need to do. Sometimes get involved with the wrong job and it causes you so much stress. There's a lot of men and women that go into the military. They're not prepared for the other side of just the GI Bill or the college fund or the VA loan. You might come back without a limb or something like that. The hard reality is you might end up taking a life or seeing a life taken away right next to you. As a veteran, I really do love the courage and the commitment people put in to serving. But you gotta really think long and hard before you go down those roads because it's not easy and you can come back altered and changed. So really know yourself because everybody wants the benefits and the pay of a job. But until you align with what you're really good at, what you naturally feel and what your natural traits are, you're gonna be stressed out, whether it causes you PTSD or causes you to go out on stress or causes you to be bitter when you really should be serving people. So know yourself, take down notes, do the morning jam. You don't need a therapist to be a therapist to yourself. So journal all your feelings out. Then commit to affirmation. Say things that you really mean with confirmation. No, don't just say, you know, I'm beautiful. You gotta believe that you're beautiful. Don't just say I'm hardworking and you don't get up off of your ass all day long. Don't just say I'm wealthy, but you're not willing to apply for jobs. Really believe in the shit and put action behind it. And then lastly, meditate. I get a lot of flack from a lot of people who oh, meditate, you know. You don't have to burn candles and, you know, wear a loincloth and sit under a tree somewhere. You just need quiet time and solitude to think of what you're feeling, what you're going through. Close your eyes, slow down your breathing, and that is starting a meditation and see what kind of feelings come to you. Try to think of nothing at all and just breathe deeply. That's it. That's meditation. And the more you could do that, the less medication you need to get later in life. Focus on you first. Don't let nobody guide you. Don't look at pamphlets and be enamored by what the job is offering you. Don't let your parents dictate what your career should be. Really choose the career and have the career choose you.